G'day guys, welcome back to another video. Yeah, I've always been a little crazy. Yeah, I've always been a little strange. But I'm just doing me and living life, baby. Uh, so no need to explain. I've always been a little crazy. It stopped me from going in. And all the small talk, yo, it don't phase me Making memories, it's time to turn the page Alright guys, welcome back So, as you saw in the last video, if you've watched the last video I uh, found a new camping spot, uh, so that's changed. Um, I came out here with Dad yesterday afternoon and uh, we kept going up a bit further and there was a bit of a water hole. So we pulled up at the water hole and had a look at it. There quite possibly could be some lobbies in it. Uh, there's still water in it. Um, I had a look around. I thought I saw something moving there, but it could have been a little lobby. I had a feel around, there's a few lobby holes. So we got the lobby pots in here. Uh, so I'm set up here for the night, found a new camping spot. Got Aiden here, wherever the hell he is. Farmer. Where are you? Hello again. <laughs> Long time no see. <laughs> so we got him back in another video. It's been a while. Um, so what we're going to do, um, I've got the lobby pot set up as you just saw there. I was going to get some good drone footage. <laughs> I had it all charged up, charged the controller and all that up. Got out here, set the drone up. No controller. So we're not going to have any drone footage this video, which is a bit of a shame. Um, we're going to go for a walk just down that way. Further, there's a water hole. So we're gonna grab the lobby pots, go for a walk down there, um, then we'll come back up, start setting up camp, get a bit of a fire going. We got some chicken schnitzel and stuff like that, a few rissoles, a bit of bread, a bit of sauce for for dinner. So we'll set up camp then when we come back and um, leave the lobby pots for probably the morning. No, just leave them in there overnight, give them the best chance to try and get some lobbies in there. Uh, hopefully we get some. If we get some, cook them up in the morning for a quick bite to eat. All right guys, so I'm just gonna grab some stuff and then we'll get back to you. Right, so this is the water hole. I right, just going around, give it a look. Right, so uh, it's not that far of walk camp, it's just back up the hill, back up that way. Uh, so I've got three, three lobby pots, so I'm just going to spread them out amongst the water hole. So this one, this is my better pot, the other ones are held together with the baling twine and stuff like that. What you want to do when you're looking for lobby sort of thing, um, you sort of got to not really think like them, but just think of where they might be. So they like to hang around uh, branches, rocks, all that sort of stuff. So, I'll chuck one. It's not the deepest, so I'll chuck one out here sort of thing. Try and find a bit of a branch or something. Mark where you, where you put it. Right, so that's one. When I came out here the other day, um, yesterday, there's a bit of a lobby hole under that rock there. So, chuck one around here somewhere. And this one here's only got a short rope, so we'll just find somewhere for it. So, yeah, we'll come back and Check them in the morning, um, see how we go. So yeah, we'll check them back in the morning. Uh, we're gonna go set up camp, try and get a bit of a fire going, set some camp chairs up and uh, crack open a beer, I think. I've already had a couple, so, but that's all right. We'll uh, crack open another one. Right, I'll get back to you when we get up to camp, get it set up, get a bit of a fire going, see how we go there. Might even, might even get out the uh, flint and steel and uh, try to get it going that way. If not, get the old trusty lighter out, never fails. All right, so we're back up. What I got set here, different piles of wood. So you got your little stuff, bit bigger, bigger, bigger. And then I got here. I'm gonna try and get this going. Got the flint and steel there. So I'm gonna try and get that going. So anyway, we'll see how we go. If not, like I said, I'll get the lighter out. We'll get it going that way. Tom Hanks in Castaway, stabs his hand and goes, ah! <laughs> <laughs> so you obviously heard what Aiden just said then, so. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cheat a bit. They're not lighting as easy as I thought. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grab some paper towel, get that going, chuck it on. So we get the same effect, just different method. Look at that, first try. <laughs> Oh, 
All right, so you're going to start with your smaller stuff. Well, they get bigger. Keep building it up. All right. Righto. And just like that, with a little bit of perseverance and a little bit of cheating, you can get a fire going. Um, if there was longer grass out here, I have done it before, you get longer grass and um, you sort of scrunch up a bit more, get it a bit finer. You can get a fire going that way, but that'll do. So anyway, um, we're just gonna kick back for a bit, have a few few beers, a bit of a yarn, a bit of shit talking. Might wait a little bit, get some dinner going. I was gonna bring a camp oven, but didn't worry about it. And we're just gonna use the little gas cooker. I'll check back with you later on and let you know how we're going. So it's been a couple of hours since we had the fire going. We've done a bit of bit of shit talking around the fire, you know, a few beers, and it's getting that time of the night where we're getting a bit getting a bit peckish. So we got Chef Aiden over here. So what are we cooking here tonight, Aiden? Uh, just your Coles basic rissoles, I guess, and some schnitzels on bread. Two sad old looking schnitties there. <laughs> and poor old. Um, I'm pretty easy going, so <laughs> yeah, nice whatever that. fills the hole. Bit of bread, bit of barbie sauce. Can't go wrong. If in doubt, we'll just whip the old curry powder out, the noodles and the uh, tin of Spam. Mix that with a few uh, smoked oysters. If we get a bit peckish later on, but we should be right. A little basic cook up for, for dinner. As you can see, we're just using the uh, little gas stove, frying pan, uh, nice and easy. No camp ovens or nothing tonight. Still got the fire going over here. Not an overly big fire. Uh, just keeping it sort of contained so it doesn't get away on us. Once we're ready for bed, I'm just going to be rolling out in the back of my ute here once we clean all this off. The swag fits nicely between the toolbox and the tray side. So that's where I'm going to be set up for tonight. Uh, Aiden's going to be set out on the back of his tray, roll his swag out there. I'll get back to his once dinner's cooked and we're having a bit of a feed. So we've just hooked into the, um, we had the rissoles there, they were cooked, they weren't too bad. But we've had Aiden on uh, on cooking duty as you've seen, and this is how the snitty turned out. So in the comments, let me know what you think of that. Uh, that's barbecue sauce, some of that, but the rest of that, that's, that, that's, that's charcoal. You're cooking in a burnt pan, you fucking dick! No, it's, it, it shouldn't be too bad, it's... Should be alright, bit of barbecue sauce, never hurt anyone. Fucking anyway. raw! <laughs> so, and, and tell, us, tell us about your cooking experience. How, how, how do you find the uh, challenge? How do you mean? Well, in terms of uh, the surroundings out here and the uh, tools you were given uh, to cook up a main course for um, two, two people, how did you find the challenge? Oh, it wasn't too bad. A bit of flat ring with all the moths landing in it, but... She'll be right. They just add to the flavour of the of the um, sandwich. But no, it should be all right. We'll give it give it a test. Right. Fucking charcoal. Mm. Tastes like no, it's actually <laughs> not too bad. Actually, pretty good. Cook through, so we don't have to worry about salmonella poisoning. Pretty easy tucker for out camping, we're only roughing it really. Two slices of bread, a bit of barbecue sauce and a chicken snitty, can't go wrong. Not sure if I'm going to end the video here yet, uh, might get a little bit in yet, so anyway, I'll see you shortly. Alright guys, so it's getting that time of the night, it's about 
oh, about nine o'clock, early night, really. Uh, we've had dinner, had a few drinks, had a bit of a chat, all that sort of stuff, sat around the fire. I uh, got the swag just rolled out in the back here, ready for bed. Gonna call it a night, and then I'll uh, catch up with you in the morning, I think. Absolutely buggered, sort of a sort of a big day. Got out on the bike this morning, had a bit of a ride over to Bundy, over to Aiden's place, and then big week sort of thing. Uh, so anyway, guys, I'm gonna say goodnight, and I'll, uh, I'll catch you in the morning. Good morning everyone, it's, uh, it's next day, Sunday, um, we're all up, I've just, I've packed all my swag up, we're pretty well packed up really, ready to go, I've got to go down and check the lobby pot shortly, uh, just boil it out, myself a cup of tea, just on the fire, have that and just let it cool down a bit, otherwise metal on lips will burn. Bit of a restless night's sleep, it was a bit, uh, a bit cold, I thought I had more blankets in my swag than I did, turns out I didn't, yeah, it was a bit bit chilly not much we're really gonna be doing tomorrow uh, today sorry um, after we get the lobby pots I'll probably pack up Aiden's gonna head off home I'll head home and probably start editing this video or something like that along those lines so yeah I'll get back with you once I uh, go down and check the lobby pots and um, I'll probably wrap the video up then right so we're just gonna be down here I'm just gonna quickly pull these pots out so I'll start around this side um, this is the bit dodgy one over here it wasn't uh, wasn't as deep in the water What we got in there? Nothing in there. All I use for uh, lobby meat is just old dog bones if we've got them. Um, get them from your butchers or wherever. You can use anything really. There's um, heaps of different things you can use for lobby bait, but yeah, you know, I just use basic old dog bones. Nothing in that one. I don't think we're gonna have much luck at all, Aiden. Doesn't look like it. No. That's right. You don't know unless you try it. Considering this is the only water hole I've seen for a while out here with any decent water in it. Right, we'll go around check the other one. Did you look at that? Look at that. No lobbies, but um got a couple of fish look at that not sure what they are but if anyone knows if anyone knows what type of fish that is just let me know down in the comments so we've got one two three four five six seven little fish in there chuck them back he's um he's buggered by the looks of it something in there will eat him well, there you go that's something a bit different at least we still caught something. So there you go, we got a, 
got a few fish in there like i said if you any of you fishermen or anything out there watching this video just uh let me know down in the comments what um uh, what type of fish you think it is all right so i'm gonna wrap the video up here uh, a little bit different vlog uh, first time i've done a camping vlog want to do a few more go to different places so yeah caught caught a few little fish uh, no lobbies sadly basic setup little campfire basic dinner Something like that, even had me a little cup of tea for the morning. Uh, remember to smash that like button, press that subscribe button down below. Uh, press the little bell button so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Check out some of the other videos on the channel. Uh, check out the video I'd done last weekend, uh, which was coming out looking for a camp spot. I did a little bit of cooking at the end there. So yeah, check out the other videos, share them around. That's a big thing, share them around. Try and get them out there, get more people subscribing uh, so I can boost those numbers up. I'm not far off the 400 subscribers. So if you can get me there, that'll be greatly appreciated. So anyway, like I said, smash that like button, press that subscribe button, press the bell button. Yeah, I'm gonna say, I still haven't come up with a different end word or whatever you want to call it um so yeah stay wild for now and i'll see you next time Bye.